care if it hurts. I want to have control. I want a perfect body. I want a perfect soul. When I asked for a name for all the noise inside my head, they diagnosed me drama queen, who would outgrow mm. all this chaos. Silly girl, doesn't know her own mind. I didn't ask because I didn't know I was allowed to. Silly, Silly boy, boy, stop whining and fight back. Before, before they, they called me sick. sick. They called me crazy bitch. They called me little bitch. Adults said I would have more fun if I smiled. More giggles and fewer questions. No one likes a little girl who is too serious. I couldn't coagulate my tear ducts right. I had to learn how to channel this salt water into callous knuckles. I made all the wrong sounds. Later called symptoms. Shouts for help mistaken as war cries. Alarm bells mistaken for background music. The only cure that promised peace were two orange pill bottles labeled how to crazy like a boy, how to crazy like a girl. Simple instructions. Man yourself into a knot of twisted neurons until you can lift yourself up by the dead flesh of your feelings, control your way into power, into a quiet suicide, or a decade of depression. Your illness is their entertainment. You better be their mascara smeared stock character, who are a desirable demise. Better look sexy in your straight jacket. Do, Do not, not ask a man for support. Strengthen yourself by exploiting vulnerability. Hold this torch in the name of your fathers, your sons, the Holy Ghost of a heart you conceal. Do, Do not, not look for the thin line between your feminine and, and your disorder. disorder. They will throw together the words woman and crazy with grins on their faces. This is a joke everyone knows. Laugh along or risk becoming the punchline. Remember, your madness is only forgivable if it's romantic. If you're a beautiful mind, are you the kind of crazy you close or confined? Remember, Sylvia, Zelda, Virginia, the only good crazy woman is a dead one whose immolation can be enjoyed from the safe distance of a book. Don't expect anyone to stick around while you burn out in real time. Don't ask for anything except what you must do to be lovable, tolerable, easier to stomach. We still carry the side effects of patriarchy. The little corpse of emotion we all killed with the daggers our fathers gave us. The hot pressure of a swallowed rage behind our smiles. The, the only, only recovery for me was not fight, but surrender to my heart. The thing we men have told each other to mechanize to suit our purpose. To my tongue and teeth, urging them to eat, speak, yell, drown out the ghosts of my apologies. I'm, I'm done correcting myself to make men comfortable. I'm done correcting myself to make women ashamed. I don't care if it hurts.